Good morning, everybody. Welcome to our HIG League. My name is Evan. Um, I'm from HIG Vision. This is our little show that we do live every week to introduce new products, new things for you guys. And then obviously we upload this to the YouTube channel. Um, so yeah, thanks for joining, man. Uh, I really appreciate this. And I'm hoping that you guys can learn and get some new information and uh, go through a little bit of the guide of the product. So starting off, it's a new year. Um, what's new? Uh, we still have load shedding. Water is an issue. Um, we, uh, yeah, we, 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 we still have the same issues, not much a change. So we move from there. Um, I'm checking all the screens everywhere around me. Everything is still good. So uh, we're making a few new changes. So yeah, today you guys are joining for the new easy DVR. Boom. It's a new little toy for the analog series guys. As you can see, it is super small. I don't know if you guys can see my little webcam. You guys want me to make a little bit bigger. Uh, for some of you that's not too sure about this, um, please join us for the Q&A after the video. Um, then we'll discuss any questions that you guys have. You can put them into the Q&A box. Uh, we obviously disabled the chat. Um, let me stop that share and see. There we go. A little bit bigger. So if you guys wanted to have a close-up look regarding how lovely that is. So you got obviously all your analog channels. You have space there for a HDMI, a DVI, uh, your, um, no, sorry, your mid DVI, sorry. My bad, my bad. If people are shooting me right now, your um, DGA itself, and then you have your network. It's kind of like difficult looking at the camera, looking back, reverse, twisted back. You know, it's like, yeah. Anyway, USBs and you have your power plug, which is 12, which is pretty awesome. I've opened one of these. I wasn't supposed to. Please don't tell any of my bosses because I will get fired. Um, <laughs> I've opened it just to see inside what's going on. Uh, there's no loose screws. Um, there's no parts, but we're going to go into the material. So let me get started on that. Uh, where is that? Let's share that screen again. Share number two. There we go. All right. Okay, so moving on, having a discussion regarding this new little baby. Um, so first of all, we started with a new version of this, trying to make things a little bit better, um, you know, for the analog side of things. It's still a very big market uh, for us as Hikvision as our brand. So it makes things a little bit, uh, you know, easier when we work with newer technology and my PPT just crashed on. That's odd. Uh, no, I think. There we go. That's better, I think. Sorry. Okay. So it's eco friendly. So when you get the box, um, my apologies with the rush this morning. I just realized now I left the box downstairs. But it's an eco friendly box. So um, we're trying to focus on how, you know, our footprint is regarding. I'm sure you guys know how global warming is affecting all of us regarding floods, heated areas, and obviously, I don't think, can we blame, um, you know, global warming for uh, load shedding? Uh, no, okay, so we just, just blame Uncle Cyril for that one. But anyway, moving on from there, we got a built-in SSD, and we're gonna go into that little motion regarding that SSD that's built into it, the hard drive itself, sorry, the blur effect. And then um, we're going to discuss the differences of how easy it is to install and et cetera. So I'm sure you guys can see and read. So we're going to move on from there. So it's much easier. So instead of the normal HDD um, hard drive, which is pretty big, which is almost the same size as this, um, we've installed one of our SSDs onto the motherboard itself of this product. And it makes it even better for the analytics as well for the recording. So by doing this, this saves a lot more cost because it's less hardware, less work, less issues, less time. So for any person that has installed any DVRs in their life before, would know that you need to open up the screws and then once you open it up, it takes forever to put in the hard drive. And this, is, this is just straightforward. You plug in and you are done. So saving a lot more cost regarding that. 
Um, and then, um, yeah, just to combine the, the older generation with the new generation, making life a little bit easier. Um, there's less moving parts inside this unit itself. So way less moving parts. Um, just gonna make sure uh, this is already available in South Africa. So for anybody that wanted to you know, just sort of quickly throw it up, let me just check if you guys can hear, but I can see everything. So, but anyway, so less moving parts, less things to go wrong. I'm sure a lot of you know how hard drive works. If a hard drive crash, you are tickets. So this little chipset is where the SSD is on the board itself. It's soldered onto it. So there's no need for you to replace it or swap it out. And we all know how SSDs works compared to normal memory sticks or hard drives. Um, they obviously go faulty over a time period. There's stuff that happens, you know, any shock environment, um, as you guys can see. So if it's, you know, uh, a very sensitive environment, I've actually put one in our demo bus. So for vehicles, yes, it can work. Um, it makes it a lot easier. And then obviously low power, because of you, we all know how ASCOM works and regarding load shedding. So it's a 12 volt plug right there on it. Uh, let me get in close, Doosh, right there. Um, so 12 volt plug, so a high quality definition of video cameras that you can connect to it. So obviously that SSD that's built into it, saving you a bit more uh, low power and et cetera, like we mentioned. Just to give you an idea for some of those that don't know what an SSD is, welcome. <laughs> All right, so SSD is just a, a new version of storage itself. So we've taken one of those chipsets for our SSDs and obviously put it onto the board with our own firmware and et cetera, et cetera. So if any of you are not sure, yes, Hikvision does have their own SSDs. Uh, we've got M.2s, um, we've got quite a bit of goodies. Uh, we've got quite a few companies that are selling them. I know some of the guy, gaming guys um, out there buy their stuff by a certain company, um, and those companies are selling our product, yes. Um, and if you do your own testing, you'll see it's very reliable, very stable. When it comes to our SSDs, just to quickly tell you, um, when people say that they have a certain amount of uh, upload and download speed on their you know, SSD devices or M.2s, um, best is to test it. Um, ours, obviously, we speculate a high end, but when we copy transfer data from point A to point B, you'll see that the fluctuation is a lot less, number one. And number two, the high quantity of files that we transfer from point A to point B is very high, where other brands will fluctuate going all the way low and then come back up once it reach there on the top and then go down and, you know, it's not stable. So we focus more on the stable transmission. So I have for my own PCs, um, I have my own SSDs in that. Um, can I say gaming? Um, yeah, I'm, a, I'm, I'm not a consult, I'm a PC, but anyway, but moving on from there, very stable, very reliable, and perfect to use for that kind of environment. Obviously, we sell them for surveillance purposes, but we can use them for anything else that you would like to. Moving on from that subject, um, we have a new analytic on there. Obviously, you guys might be familiar with our um, Motion 2.0. So that algorithm has obviously developed with more technologies and more things. So with the next course, we'll obviously go into a little bit more detail. We obviously have removed the Thursday training. We only have Friday where we introduce everything and a little bit of technical to make it easier. We don't want to make it boring for you guys. All right. So for that um, compression itself, we're gonna look at that. The lifespan of that data storage is quite extensive. It depends on if you're using two megapixels, four megapixels, eight megapixels. It all depends on what your camera is and what your analytics, but we'll get into that stage just now for you guys. So it says a little bit more, especially on the eco-friendly side. So all the goodies inside the box, uh, we're trying to um, reduce our you know, global warming footprint in our site. So yeah, it's kind of difficult because when the guys get the cameras, they normally take off that plastic in front of the lens and they just throw it there, it goes everywhere. Um, please guys, pick up your papers, pick up your stuff, but moving on. So um, regarding the low cost itself, 
Um, it, it obviously helps us a lot overall, saving a bit more because there's less resources that we are using. It uses less power. Um, there's less time spent on it as well. So um, it's just so much better for the long run um, for these devices. And we are trying to focus and shift our focus towards a lot of the technology in South Africa from um, our big company at our headquarters to try and see what else we can use in the company would make things better for our country for technology wise, energy, right? So yeah, um, it saves a lot more power. Obviously, I'm sure you guys can be familiar with the charging circuits of that. Um, and then moving on from there, because some people are not really iPhone people, but anyway, um, the compression for the storage is at H265 compression. It is also a very new, unique compression that we focus on. And by focusing on that, we focus on the fact that the analytics is there to assist you a bit more. So when it comes to your storage compared to previously, compared to now, there's a huge difference, right? So yes, the storage space might be a little bit less, but you have more days that you can record. So by doing this, we use a smart AI program on that bitrate itself. So we try and focus on the constant bitrate or you know, the variable bitrate, and the camera will decide according to the amount of level that that environment or field of view is. So if there's a lot of people, it's obviously gonna try and use less um, and then obviously reduce it a bit more. So to save the bandwidth. But if there is maybe certain security levels or maybe somebody crossing, then it will concentrate. But if the static image is there, it's obviously gonna try and save as much bandwidth as it can. So it's gonna reduce that image. So what that basically means, if you normally take a camera and you face it towards, let's say as an example, a receiving area for a shop, that door gets open maybe once a week, once every two weeks. Otherwise, that camera looks at that door, there's no changes in the images, there's no one walking past it, there's no lights going on and off, the image is static, it looks at that door. But if we put it onto variable, so basically what that means is if somebody puts their face there and they all of a sudden they look at the camera, then the camera will look at the best quality to use to capture that information and store it onto the storage device of the DVR or NVR. So this is smart analytic and a lot of our new equipment start having that built in. Moving on from there, the quality of the image has been improved as well. So your normal DVR compared to the eDVR, you'll see that the quality difference for that detail has been improved quite drastically. So by using that AI technology. So the normal features, if you log into it, it's got the same way of logging into it as normal DVRs would. You can also set that quality of that, uh, um, that image. So just to show you guys, and you can also set the frame rate as well according to what your requirements are needed. So you can manually do that. Moving on from there, the easy setup, it's very straightforward. So I put in a picture there just to show you guys a hard drive. Here's the hard drive right next to it. This is the actual unit in my hand. As you can see, this is my hand. If you wanted to, my big face is my big face. You can see it's really, really easy unit. So I hope you guys can see that very clearly. So very small design. So for installation, yes, sorry, installation, you do have those little mounting brackets at the back. Can I, can I, can the can I, camera, camera work for me? Sorry, this is my laptop. It's not a heat vision camera, by the way. <laughs> uh, anyway, so you got those little clips so you can connect it up and I've got a little extra things for you guys there as well. So it's easy for the installation. There's no real mechanical parts. There is, however, a small little fan in it, um, just, just for normal ventilation for certain environments. So yeah, but anyway, moving on, you have all the normal features as what you would get in a smart, like a turbo HD um, device itself. Your playback, your capturing, all your normal search functionalities, everything will be there. So we made it a bit easier. 
So regarding the motion 2.0, I'm sure some of you might have seen that there's human and vehicle analytics as well. So you can decide what you want to concentrate. Right. So that if you enable it and you do the playback, it will basically show you that certain features of if there were humans, if there were vehicles. So it's not AccuSense, please take note. Um, motion 2.0 is not AccuSense. You had Motion 1.0, which was an old way where I'll show you guys just now the blocks were like red. And then obviously the newer way where it's green. So it will show you the object. So we'll move into that. As long as you understand and know that we can do playback, you can do human or vehicle, depends on what you selected. Right, making it a bit easier. Right, I'm not going to explain to you where you can install this. I'm sure you guys have your own discretion of where you can use this. There's multiple different places um, where it's convenient. Just to quickly let you guys know, especially from the sales point of view, these are the model uh, numbers itself. So you have the four channel, you have the eight channel, and then you have the higher end a channel, uh, four channel itself. So this allows you to have 1080p at 15 frames for two weeks, which is insane. You have the bigger models as well. So giving you also a little bit more better quality. So it all depends on what model you go for. These are the normal uh, DVRs, the eDVRs itself. Um, did it jump on its own? It was on its own. Yeah, I did. Sorry, my bad. Uh, I just want to kill the laser there. There we go. So very straightforward. It shows that it um, might not be available. There are certain branches in the Indies already receiving them. You can place your orders. So yeah, please do so. It's got all the normal features. So motion 2.0, just to quickly run into that for you guys. So I'm sure you've seen when you go onto motion, it used to be red. So when the object moves, you'll see the red blocks, right? Motion 2.0 is obviously a smarter analytic where those little blocks, we can see the shape that it's a vehicle or person or whatever the case might be. So you can see those little blocks itself and you can adjust the sensitivity according to your environment. So that helps a lot more. So moving on from there. So with that motion for any industry, it's just easier to use because a lot of people can't really afford AccuSense Obviously, AccuSense is more advanced compared to motion, but allowing you still to have that kind of feature. Right. So for playback, you can search for human or vehicle as long as you select what you have obviously put onto the recording. Straightforward. Okay. Right, so motion 2.0, much better, more improved, um, helping you a little bit regarding that. Then also please take note that we have the IDS models in them as well, which means they are AccuSense. They are smart analytics built into them. So you can basically connect up your AccuSense analog cameras in there 
and then obviously use the functionality as normal or use the camera itself as normal and use the feature on the device. So it depends on the model that you're going for. So please speak to your Hick Vision representative or ND company of Hick Vision in order to get that information that you require. All right, so all the normal specifications. So please pause it at any time if you're on YouTube. I'm sure you guys can see. So just to give you an idea of the rundown of the IDS models itself, the intelligence um, algorithm that we built into these devices. So straightforward, again, you've got that compression, two-way audio in and out for alarm as well. So there's a lot of nice little features. The VCA, the quick smart playback, and you also have your target specific that you can focus on. Right, straightforward, easy, man. You can also use coaxial cable or CAT5 or CAT6 cable to communicate from point A to point B. Just letting you know that we do have cables. Some companies prefer to still to use coaxial. Other companies prefer to use CAT5 or CAT6 cable. If you are using that, please speak to our representative. We have cables as well. They are really good quality, up to almost 100% pure copper, and it's fire resistant as well. So all the normal features, just if you want to do pause here, if you are doing the YouTube channel, if not, please guys do a print screen or something, but you can see you have all the different models of cables. Right, coaxial cable, we do have two different types. There's multiple different applications where you can use your coaxial. Some of the newer models don't need, to need power leads, whatever the case, and we'll get into the power side. So just to let you know, they do have that as an option. So you can buy them via the rolls in 200 meters, or you can also get the balances as well. So balances are a little bit um, nicer because in the event that you have an installation and you run your cables for this client, um, you can also then in future upgrade by using the same CAT5 cable, CAT6 cable, if you are using balances. You cut it, put an RJ45 and you carry on. So with Quaxel, you have to run a new cable if you are upgrading to IP future use. So letting you know that it is available. Sure, all of you are used to the old way of CCTV power supplies. Those fuses that keep on popping. I know who you are. You guys keep on popping fuses when you do these installations. But anyway, moving on from there, I'm sure you also are familiar how big that box is. Pretty big. So letting you know that Higvision does have our own power little supplies, and I'm going to show you how cool they are. And um, I'm sure some of you are veteran installers that do watch this and know that, yeah, um, it's a problem. Anyway, moving on from there, those old four-way and nine-way and 16-way power supplies, um, yeah, um, we'll get into that. You can see by the size of that device in the picture, of Higvision as our own power supply. This is a four channel model. A channel is about the same size as well. And if you have to put this next to it, this little DVR, all right? Imagine the size for installation. You're gonna use a small little, little portion and you're done. So it's just insane. This power supplies that Higvision offers has three different voltage settings. So 12 volt, 3.5 and 15 volts. You have different distances that you can use this. It's obviously protected for, you know, not to catch fire like other uh, power supplies sometimes do. <laughs> and anyway, and also we have that anti-surge because I'm sure all of you know how ESCOM is regarding load shedding. So when there's a power dip in your residential area or commercial area, but it's not because of your load shedding, it's because of your neighboring area, um, you, the lights sometimes go like dim, you know. Um, that's normally just a little search that's going through. And to protect that, we have that obviously set up for that. Not just that, like I said, these power supplies are specially designed for CCTV use, right? We have all the certificates, all the standards, et cetera, and you, this is already available. So you guys can get it wherever you need to. But what I can say to you guys is, for it's designed for that long life use itself, all right? Not just that, we have a two year warranty on these power supplies. Please show me a company that's prepared for CCTV power supplies to put a warranty on their devices. Yeah, 
Look, if you're going to bring the power supply and it's got struck by lightning and it's all blown up into pieces, look, let's be honest about that. That's not what we're mentioning here. But if there's a fault with the product itself, it will be replaced completely, right? So there are certain terms and conditions regarding that, but letting you know that we are standing behind the product. We have a four channel or eight channel. No, there's not a five channel or a nine channel like some of the other brands. Reason being because it's designed for CCTV. We don't want you to connect the mag lock or the striker lock or the intercom system and it's this and it's that and it's this. It's designed for CCTV use. So please keep it towards CCTV use. All right, awesome. Um, and then that's basically it um, for uh, the last one. Yeah. So that's basically it, where we at in our time. So not very lengthy, very short. Um, and I hope it, uh, it made a bit of sense for you guys. It's a quick, 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 easy one. So please guys, uh, next week we have another webinar. We'll be discussing, I think it's the Soho ones, the, the small office, home office. So for some of you that didn't know what Soho means, it's not ho ho, Santa Claus is coming or, you know, but anyway, moving on from there. So if you would like to stay for the Q&A, please stay behind. Um, the recording will stop now. This will be uploaded into our YouTube channel. For some of you that is not familiar with our e-learning platform, this is our uh, new certification. I've played a video at the beginning, so you can also ask questions about that. The educational side is a lot more information, and trust me, your company would love it. We're trying to change the industry of South Africa regarding security, especially on surveillance and normal security on the alarm side. Trying to redirect uh, the companies and people's mindsets in thinking to modern, work smarter, not harder. Um, not that we don't want to work smart or hard, but just letting you know. All right. So thank you for the YouTube people. See you guys next week. For the rest of you, stay tuned for the Q&A.